Hello friends, my name is Pam and I want to welcome you to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. If you are new here, I love to thrift for home decor and for interesting items that I can resell in my booth. Please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave me a comment telling me what your favorite find from today's trip was. I'd love to hear from you, so let's get shopping and see what treasures we can find today. This was a huge bowl, probably 12 to 16 inches in diameter. It was hand painted from Hungary and it had a place on the back to attach a string to hang it on the wall. This bowl was gorgeous. Nearby, I saw this beautiful pink and green tray. It was a modern piece. It's probably from Home Goods or a store like that but it was so pretty and in a great condition. I found this piece to be rather interesting. It looks like a birdhouse, but the hole is so small and the house is just a skinny tube. Surely this must be for decor purposes. I'm not sure what material it was made out of, and I love the boho details and the whole vibe about it. It's tea time. I loved this cute little teapot, but it was missing the lid, and it had a tiny chip on the spout. These candle holders were not anything I would consider spectacular enough to have such a high price at $5.95. Come on, Goodwill. Check out this wooden interlocking plant stand. Wait a minute. Do you see a hippo or do you see a camel's head? Let me know what you think down in the comments, a hippo or a camel. Oh, look at little Woodstock. This is a Teleflora mug from 1972, made in Japan. This would sell for about $10 on eBay, but I decided to leave it behind for someone that really enjoys collecting peanuts memorabilia. These bookends caught my eye. They were made exclusively for a company called Manpower. They are vintage and give off that mid-century modern feel. These must be considered chargers. They're huge, made in Portugal and sold originally for $2.99 each. Goodwill has the set of these for $4.95. I found this fantastic brass tray. It didn't have a price tag on it, and I took it up front and they told me they couldn't sell it to me because it didn't have a price. Now, I was bummed because in the past, I've been able to take things up front and they would price it and sell it to me. So this was a big letdown for me. This planter had some fun colors and geometric shapes on it. This planter came from World Market, and I love to shop at World Market, but the one nearest my home has closed permanently. I found this gold mug, and I've seen this before, so I know it was part of a set that comes with a, like a metal mug tree. Next to it was this box, and on the box read, four gold mugs with mug tree. 
as wedding gift, August 12th, 1972. These glass candlesticks are hand blown and they are in really good shape. You can see slight differences in the glass which makes each candlestick a one of a kind piece. This set was lovely as well but I do not think these were hand blown. I saw these mugs and they gave me serious 90s vibes. They're vintage mugs from Spain, and I believe there were a total of six. I love this silver plated sugar bowl, and I'm thinking of making a few pin cushions out of these silver plated sugar bowls to sell. I've seen it on Pinterest, and some can be very beautiful. What do you think? I found this vintage ceramic goose head. It is a wall hanging and it had a beaded eye and had a mark on the inside that read, hand painted in Italy for domain. I think this is used to hang aprons or kitchen towels. What do you think this could be used for? I saw this pottery batter bowl with the handle. Y'all, it was gorgeous. Unfortunately, it had that big chip on the rim. This was a great piece. It was signed on the bottom, and other than that chip, it was in fabulous shape. I always love finding a good Tiffany style lamp. This one was in wonderful condition. This is a banker's lamp style, and although it doesn't have the fanciest or most colorful stained glass, it's still quite beautiful and will bring a nice profit. I tested it in the store and everything is in good working order. Check out this wooden octopus decor. This was a great piece and would look amazing in an ocean or a nautical themed room. It really gave me the Pirates of the Caribbean feel. Hmm, this would be a great piece to use in a display to give height. A little spray paint will fix all the nicks and cracks and it'll look pretty nice. Here's another piece to add to that nautical decor. This felt like it was cast iron. This skull originally came from the dollar spot at Target, and this would be a fun addition for your Halloween decor.
The first thing I purchased that I would like to share with you is this wooden interlocking plant stand. This is great to give your plant a little lift and I like that it has a hidden animal shape to it. Do you see a camel or a hippo? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I had to grab this birdhouse. I still don't know if it is simply decor or to be used as a birdhouse. Y'all, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Birdhouse or decor? I picked up this goose head. I couldn't leave it behind, y'all. I thought it would look great in someone's farmhouse kitchen, so I'm going to be selling this vintage piece. Check out this Tiffany-style banker's lamp. It's gorgeous. This lamp is in great working order. It is in super condition. I barely even had to clean it up, and I will be selling this lamp as well. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for shopping along with me. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel as it will help my channel grow. Thank you again, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.